So the Blue Heart Project is the project that I manage and it's funded by the Environment Agency's Flood and Coastal Resilience Innovation Programme. So the benefits of the project is engagement with children, so they're learning about uh, designing and climate change and flood risks, but also the benefit of storing of rainwater so that we can alleviate flood risks. Today's been a chance for children to explore and investigate in their own time, in their own way. Get it wrong, spill water, get a bit wet, get a bit muddy, and it doesn't matter. They can wash their hands off, they can dry themselves off. These, this is a chance for children to really kind of explore in the way that children have for years. It's been great to see the children developing those teamwork skills, um, to be able to listen to each other, um, and we've got some growing leaders as well, which is great to see and coming out of this, this experience. I really liked it when we all worked together to do the pipe but I really enjoyed that because we all worked as a team and it was really fun. SUDs are sustainable urban drainage systems, so features that can attenuate water in the urban environment to alleviate flood risk. Well, schools provide like, an excellent opportunity for not just providing flood attenuation, but also to engage with the pupils, the teachers and the parents for why these features are being installed in the first place so that they can learn about flooding in their local area. Well, I think this really makes it purposeful for them, really deepens their understanding. Okay, so this is why we're learning about this in the classroom. This is the impact it has in our, in our local area. Uh, we encourage our children to be what we call world changers and I think work like this only encourage them to think beyond our school and look at the bigger picture in terms of where their lives are heading and the things that will impact them as they, as they grow up. The best thing about today was definitely using the clay because I got to um, like use different strategies and found out what one worked best. I think it's about the, the raising awareness of the impact that flooding can have on our, on our school. When we were doing this activity, I found out that grass dissolved water quicker than the concrete. The whole idea of the outdoor learning activities leads on to their design project and then get them designing systems that will go into their school. They're going to come up with ideas that are going to be perfect for their school and then going to engage further you know, other children within the school as these systems are put in place. And then we've got the tap and a bowl connected to the plant. It's really nice for the animals and then we're not just wasting water. I think for the work that they've done today has enabled them to uh, aspire to um, tackle challenges together, showing great resilience um, and teamwork skills. The best part about today was probably learning a lot more and having a lot more fun than we do when we write in our English books. These children today have had an experience where they've experimented, they've played, they've investigated. Children are already scientists, they're already engineers. Um, and what this does is it enables them to kind of hone those skills and practice those skills. So going forward, Yes, I think we've definitely inspired a new generation of engineers and scientists. It was really fun. And today we got to run around and play with clay and like learn about rain and everything. I think kids in other schools would like to do what we did today because it can help a lot. I would absolutely recommend the project to other schools. Children have been really engaged uh, and enjoyed the activities. They've had a lot of fun today as well as doing a lot of learning. <laughs>